Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to week five of STEM Recycling. This is our last week of class for the spring. What we're gonna be making today is a balance scale. So there are a bunch of things that you picked up from the library. The first thing that you're going to need is your paper towel tube. So now, what you need to do with your paper towel tube is take some tape, you can use duct tape or electrical tape or any type of tape that you may have at home. And you're going to just cover the paper towel roll with tape. This is gonna make it a little stronger and it's also gonna make it look a little nicer. So just keep going up your paper towel roll until it's covered with tape. Just like this. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do with your paper towel roll is you're gonna cut two notches in the top opposite each other, so here and here. So why not you cut a notch, it's, you can make like a triangle shape as you cut. You want it to go down about somewhere between a half an inch and an inch. So there's one notch. And then right opposite that on the other side, as evenly as possible, I wanna cut exactly the same size notch. I want them to both go down to exactly the same spot. You might have to do a little refining to get them exactly the same, but that's going to hold your uh, the top of your scale to balance, so it is really important that they're pretty much the same. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is take your box, some of you have a box, some of you have a box top, uh, you're gonna take your box and you can decorate the box if you want. You can maybe take some tape and put some tape on the box, you could paint it if you wanted to, but decorate your box in any way that you want. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to glue the bottom of your paper towel holder to the box, making sure that the notches that you cut are on either on the long sides, pointing towards the long sides of the box. If you have a hot glue gun at home, that would be the very best way to glue this. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you can use Elmer's glue, but then you're gonna have to let it sit there and you're gonna have to wait until it's fully dry. The nice thing about a hot glue gun, if your mom or dad can help you with it, is that it dries almost immediately. If you don't have any glue, you can probably use the tape to tape this down to the box, but you want it nice and solidly attached to the box. The next thing that you're going to need is your dowel, and I'm gonna actually move over to this box. You have a dowel, that's a long wooden rod, and you have some paper cups. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the paper cups, I've already punched holes in them, and there's two pieces of string in your kit. So what you want to do is you want to tie the string onto, into the two holes. You may, you may need mom or dad's help with that. You want, again, you want both cups to have the same length of string so that, they're, so that they look pretty much the same. You don't want one to be longer than the other. It's pretty important that they have the same length of string. So like I said, you might need mom or dad's help to get that taken care of. Then you're gonna take your dowel, your wooden stick, you're going to put a rubber band on either side of them. There are three rubber bands in your box. It's important that you take two that are very much the same to put them on the edges. These are so that your cups don't fall off when you start to weigh things. Then you're gonna put your stick right into the notch, notches that you made on your paper towel holder. And you might wanna put the third rubber band right up on top here. It doesn't tell you to do that in the directions, but when I tried out my scale without a rubber band on the top, the dowel just popped right off when I put something heavy in my cups. So now you wanna arrange your scale so that both so that the dowel is exactly straight and both cups are even. This kind of scale doesn't tell you how much something weighs. It compares the weights of two different things. 
So for example, I have five pennies here and I'm gonna put them, whoops, see how my scale goes down? I'm gonna put my five pennies in the cup. And now I have some beads over here. How many beads is it going to take to weigh the same as the five pennies in the cup? So we can start putting beads in one at a time, that was five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, the pennies weigh a lot more than the beads, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, oh my goodness, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, I just wanna make sure that's on my edge here, 28, 29, 30. Wow, more than 30 beads. Let's see how many more. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, whoop, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, wow, those pennies are heavier than I thought. 51, 52, 53, 54. Oh, look, it's starting to move. 55, 56, 57, 58. Up. Oh, it looks like it took 58 beads to weigh the same as five pennies. Now, what happens if I take one of the pennies out of this cup? Do you think that the other side is gonna go up? You see how much heavier now this side is, how it's going down? Aha. Uh -huh. So now I wonder what else you could weigh. If you have small toys or candies, you might want to try and weigh them out. It might be fun to weigh some M&Ms or maybe some wrapped candies so it's not so messy to compare the weights of two things. It's important that you have the same amount of wood, of wooden dowel on each side and that your cups are placed fairly evenly here so that you can get a good comparison, okay? And that the dowel can move back and forth like that. Well, I hope you had fun building your scale. What are you going to weigh with it? When you come into the library, let me know how it went. I've really had a lot of fun working with you in the workshop this spring. And I hope to see you over the summer for some in-person programs. Take care.